Oh my goodness, incredible. How do I get the most money out of this aces? And a 3-bet to 81-6. I still might slow play here. I don't know. It's like, I've got all the good cards. What are you going to do? I'm going to call, I think. Okay, uh, kings. Beautiful. We raise. Kings 8 for a double up. Kings 8s. Ooh, got to dodge the 5 and the 10. We do. Call for 5. Wow. Look at this flop, dude. Dry enough that we don't want to lead. On different board textures, we could lead. Like if it was 5, 6, 7. Like, yeah, we lead. But uh, five, or 10, 7, 5, no. If it goes bet call, we raise. If it goes bet fold, we call. All right, sweet. 61 in there. Dude, is there any other option than jam? Yeah, there is. You could raise, like, raise full days 10 here or something. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty niche consideration. Sweet. Ship it. 245 and our first bounty for 50 bucks. We're in a very good spot now to where we're probably going to cash the tournament. We still got work to do. But, uh, yeah, 15 of 18, it says. We must be better than that. No, yeah, yeah, we are. Seventh. Seven of 18. It'll update in a second. And on the soft bubble here. 10-4 against Yorkshire Ace. On the bubble, got a jam here. It's an any two, $100 bounty. Three off the money bubble. Got to ship it in there. Wakes up with the fives. Diamond. No. We double up friend of the stream. No $100 bounty for us. Okay, moving on. We open jacks. Yorkshire Ace calls. Oof. Two off the money, but we've got a dangerous jack-jack. Poker's work. This is what I do. It's my job. I guess we're going to check call it'll be something like this. Um, check fold turn. Oh, my goodness. Rollin. Got to go for the bounty here. Put the pressure on in the bubble. Luka Doncic. We're all in. Blinders blind limp, covering for their bounty. Oh, no way. They have ace-king. Huge suck out. Dodge the 10 and the king. Wow. Okay. Really unlucky. I mean, if they jam, we call, right? Like, there's nothing you can do. It's a cooler. But um, we cool them right back with a huge suck out. So we are in the money. Red felt hype. At a certain point, those hands become monster hands when you're really short. See, now I've got a little surfing in the USA in my head, though. Fives against kings. We re-jam re -jam the pair for 100k. They've got the goods. Fair enough. Nothing to be done there. Just lose and be sad about it. FT, baby. The final table coming up. We're down to nine. We lost someone. We lost the one opponent who hadn't got a bounty yet, which is kind of nice. The smallest bounty is good. <sighs> final table hype of the Super 215 on Party Poker. Coming in five of nine, 271 in the prize pool, plus 188 in bounties. You can see, up, see the payouts in the bottom left, but in a small field tournament like this, it can be up to triple for first place. Right, like it's it's pretty much at least double, and sometimes up to triple. So anywhere from three thousand to forty five hundred is what I expect for for the win here. And why not us? Let's make it count. Big stack here, Captain Wook on one point one million. Definitely senior. We play with him regularly. Queens against Ace Queen. Takes out a 1787 bounty. The chip leader gets richer. We're down to 8. 309 cash. Let's go. Got some good chances here. And this is a nice hand to have on the button. We do pretty well against a 10 blind stack. First impression is we call here. Jamming is a disaster. So it's either call or fold. I think there's enough value in calling on the button. 10 8 3. Not a bad board for sevens. All those broadways have missed. They check. I think we should check though. Six in the turn, which is beauty. We 
Double check, we should bet now. Really tough to imagine many better hands that double check in this spot, right? Like, uh, East eight suited, okay. Eight nine suited if they open, okay. And a nine on the end, a straight. Probably gonna play queen jack differently, so we don't have to worry about that one too much either. We just want to bet a sizing where we could have a bluff. We're gonna go 72,000, I think is fine. Try and get adequate value. Uh, if they jam, it's pretty brutal, honestly. Like, I don't think Queen Jack is really likely to play for it. First of all, a check on the flop and then a check call on the turn with Queen High. Kind of unlikely, I'd say. So, we take it down three to 50,000, good stuff. What can you do is all in against Kaiser Soze. Could lose it all here. I think we're down to seven. We are indeed down to seven players. GG to what can you do? Kaiser Soze chips up. And we're moving on with two shorter stacks, just barely, but very much tied at the bottom, right? All in and on the final table. Ace King, King three regem with a $300 bounty. That is a huge rumble. I didn't expect that. Holy smokes, that's a three. That's crazy. $300 bounty gone. We're down to six. That's nuts. All right. King seven suited. We raise. Kind of three of us tied at the bottom here, but like king seven suited is a decent hint. Start with a check call here, probably on a seven five. This hand gets difficult against turn barrels. Against flop, it's not that difficult, right? Just check call here. But it goes check, check, turns a six. I think a uh, small bet is fine. River's not great. Uh, I don't love this hand. Lose any ace, they call on the button. We beat Broadways, but Broadways are mostly going to bet flop. And if they don't bet flop, they're not necessarily going to like float turn. You know what I mean? Like Queen Jack is just going to bet flop. King Queen, if it floats flop, is probably just going to fold turn to a bet, probably. So yeah, it's tough to win on that river. And uh, we don't, in fact, win. We are the shortest stack now. Min raise on the button. We call with a 10-8. Wow, great flop. Great flop here. Straight. Straights are good. Start creating some live poker content. Um, raise King Jack. I'm oh, great. Chilling, playing Overwatch 2 and cheering you on. Well, thank you very much, man. As I flop the nuts, the absolute stone nizzles. We got to check back here. So hard for our opponent to have anything. We have all the cards, right? Like, what are we going to do? I uh, got to start betting on the turn. I'm not going to bet big. Again, I think they have a trash hand, probably. We have to hope they continue with a gut shot, with an ace high, with a nine. Uh, I don't want to bet big here. So yeah, we just go for a small bet. Nice. Sweet. Are we in third place? If they jam, we are indeed. Let me check. Lame. They check fold. That's lame, dude. But whatever. We take it. We take it up to 441. That will actually put us in third anyways. Even if they don't call here, which I don't think they will. It's not a bad steal hand, but 10 blinds, 2 reshove hands, and the chip leader can mess with us. I guess we fold. Stay patient. It's the nuts when you're under 100 blinds deep. You know? Maybe not if you're 500 blinds deep, but like 100 blinds? Gucci gang. Wow. Jacks, tens, king eight. Wow. Jacks with a double busto. We're down to four. 672 plus our bounties, 188. So 850 cashed, and we are kind of tied here near the bottom. All right. That's sweet. Good. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Matty Ice! What timing on this raid, incredible. Oh my goodness, incredible. How do I get the most money out of this aces? Do I slow play flat? I might slow play flat here with the aces. I think we do, wow. 
And a three bet to 81 six. I still might slow play here. I don't know. It's like, I've got all the good cards. What are you going to do? I'm going to call, I think. God, on 22 blinds. Nah, we're just not going to do that, dude. We're just not going to do that. Good luck. Please be kings. We got a fold here from need game. So lame, but it's like 22 blinds. What am I going to cold call the three bet from the short stack? It just doesn't make any sense. Nice. No queen, dude. No queen. Oh my god. Could you imagine the chop on a queen? That'd be so sick. All right, we take it down. Let's go. 776,000. We got a very short stack here. Um, we want to get this bounty, but we also want to get the ladder. I don't think it makes sense to play this hand. Wow, good dodge by me, but need game is going to double up unless it's a 4 or 7. All in jam and a call here. 250 bounty in play. Aces is looking good, but has to dodge the ace and the nine. Oh my goodness, the nine. That's a straight for need game up to 400,000. And we're now in second place, not tied. Still tied here for second. That's pretty crazy. It's a rejam against the button open here. Uh, but if the chip leader opens, it's just a call. Okay, just a call. We're going to go to the streets. A6 deuce. Very good flop, but I think it's pretty much just a check call, check call, check to side spot. Um, there's not a lot to think about here. Like top pair, very strong hand, very likely the best hand against a wide range. The only difficult uh, street is really the river. 20,000. It's not strong enough to want to check raise, especially with this chip stack situation here. Could lead on six in non-ICM situations. In ICM, I think it's mostly a check. And it goes check, check, three on the river. Do you want to check or do we want to bet out? I think bet out, man. I think we can uh, value bet here. A bookie drop in the 15 months. Ace King against Jack 8, and there is the bust of three left in the tournament. 933 plus our bounties of 188, call it 1100. Uh, next pay jump is up to 1500 so it's a pretty big jump, like a $600 jump, basically. And then from there, you play heads up, so open, get a call, 10 8 deuce, check, check, I think is cool. With our second pair, uh, not great kicker. So there's a three hearts, they bet 67, no-brainer call, and probably call river. Worst river, I would say, is a jack. Not the jack of hearts, but the other jacks are pretty bad. Against an over bet, we call. Against a small bet, we raise. Against a pot bet, we just call, I think. Yeah, we raise. Uh, the thing that's tough about this is if they jam over the top. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. And I do think there is value in a raise here with the flush. We win. And jam call. We want the deuces to win to go heads up. Good start. Keep it clean on the river, Dottie. Come on, let's go. Heads up for the title. Okay. 1,500 cash plus our bounties of not a lot, 188. So 1,700 cash, but the heads up is double this and double this, right? So call it 1,600 plus 300, $1,900 heads up. So we either cash for 1,700 or 3,600. Those are the two options. Anything could happen. Let's send the, uh, the good luck. And uh, vamos. Seven deuce deuce. Uh, decent amount of checks, decent amount of bets. I think check is good with king six. Again, king high. Better to bluff with like our queen high, jack high, ten highs. Value bet with some stuff. But on the turn, we pick up a six. I think we have two streets of value now. Um, unless river is really bad, like. Eight would be pretty bad river. But it, honestly, ranges are so wide. Like we feel pretty okay about our hand here. Too thin to bet now on the Ten of Clubs, probably. Wow. Okay. Well, that card uh, saved us, I guess. I think we could ship the sevens for 24. It's a lot of blinds, but, like, it's a great hand to do it with, you know? We're going to limp in with Queen Ten suited. 
All I care about is the color of the Gatorade bath. Bet on it being yellow green. Good luck. Good luck, man. King seven deuce, two diamonds. Rip. Just absolutely owned my overseas bet there. I think we check. Call with the king high, turns a queen. I think we could probably turn this one to a bluff on the river if it goes check, check here. I'm trying to bluff better king highs. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. We're primarily tar targeting better king highs. Ace highs weren't really going to fold anyways on most rivers. Um, so we are bluffing here. Other choices would be like, you know, seven, six offsuit, right? But I think it's okay with king three, king four, king five. Kind of hands not so good with like king 10, king nine. Like those aren't great candidates. I want them to have those sort of middling hands that have missed here. And we take it down. Plunge up to 15K, 30K. Still battling here, heads up. Straight. It's a very good hand. A very good hand. Beautiful hand with nines. Obviously hoping just just induce some action here. Double up puts us in a great spot, but this is fine too, right? A5 deuce. We have an overpair on a very dry board. Like they're going to rumble here quite a bit. Um, I like it. Okay, they call 10 on the turn. Still barrel. Um, still very like the best hand heads up. Not that many tens that are gonna check call flop, like ace 10, king 10. But like queen 10 and jack 10 don't always play this way. They might check raise, right? Um, so yeah, we feel pretty good about our hand. We take it down on the turn. Let's go. They limp. We check. King nine is not a hand we need to jam here. Uh, I think we jam worse hands and better hands, but king nine's sort of in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful hand again, trying to induce. I think in GTO land, you flat here. Uh, you limp call pairs nines plus just to have some really strong hands in your range. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think this is the GTO approach. It makes it uncomfortable in some spots, but like uh, you're essentially slow playing when ranges are so wide. You need some good hands that can limp call. Uh, it makes it tough on a, a flop like this, but I think it's a clear check check. Probably don't fold. Probably, right? I think that's the key to this spot. But if it checks again on the turn here, we check, right? We're only getting one street of value, betting ourselves from worse hands. Bet of 90,000, we call. Tough, man, tough. If they have a jack, they're checking the river, so that's good. Jack doesn't change anything against a bet. Against a check, we might lose to a jack, and we can decide, do we want to bluff our tens or not? Uh, probably not enough, right? Like, when they have the monster kings, queens, we're not going to get anything. I think I'm just going to check here. Beat 9-3. Uh, all right, let's make a count here. Ace five, pretty good hand. Gets a limp. Do we want to raise or just check this one back? Could raise call as well with ace five, but we'll just check. And uh, we flop top pair, top two pair here. Very strong hand. And it goes check, check. Seven on the turn. We'll bet. Dude, how do I get the most value from this hand here? Check to induce. The thing about checking to induce is we get an ace to bet. Uh, we lose less against a deuce. We only lose value against a seven, basically. The rest is going to fold. Uh, like, king nine is not going to call. I don't think anyways. I mean, maybe it would, but I doubt it. Some bets, some checks here. I'm going to check. I think it's good. Nine, five. I think call, call here. Like, turns a total brick. Second pair, decent kicker. All the draws missed. Do we want a value bet on the end? It's thin. We're trying to get called by 8-6 and 10-6 here. 8-6, 10-6, is what we're trying to get called by by betting there, but do expect a queen to continue. Ace-5. And back to raising now on 30 blinds and with a good hand to start that trend off with, in my opinion. Just 3-8. Some bets, some checks. You know, check is not terrible here for sure. Nah, I just got to bet though. It's too strong. Too strong. Sweet. Take it. 
I'm going to go back to limping here. I think this pair is a good limp jam, but we're 23 blinds deep. Uh, so I don't really want to raise fold or raise call. I'm going to value bet on 885. Uh, it's not a great river, but just combinatorically, like there's just a bunch of, of non-pairs. So let's call and show down a hand here. Three, four spades, cool. With king seven, we check against the limp in the big blind. Queen seven deuce, pretty good flop for king seven, likely the best hand. Let's check, check. We can go two streets of value now, I think, with our king seven. Still think I can bet the river here. And expect to get a call from more sevens and from 4x and probably from some 2x's as well. Um, get raised from sets, straights, and flushes. We win. That's good. Uh, I'm going to limp. When you go on break, the clock keeps running on stars. I have no idea. I guess as long as it's the same for everyone, it's not a big deal, but... Check, check in the turn. We don't need to bluff. We can't value bet. We don't need to protect enough to lose our money against like a jack when we bet or like tens, nines, eights, for example. A block bet of 90,000 in the river. I think most likely hand here, uh, tens, nines, eights, sevens, a six, six, seven suited, six, five suited. Bluffs that bluff for 90 into 360. I mean, you have to be really creative. So fold. That's a, it'd be a very creative bet sizing. Don't think I can give him credit for it. Flop of six, that's great. That's a very good news for us. I think too, too thin with six, seven, but feeling okay. Turn is still gonna be a call here. Uh, it's a bit of a dangerous card, I'd say. I, I think like, you know, like king 10, king nine, king seven, king five, all that's gonna bet flop. Um, but still, we're beating enough here. Mm, they bet, not small, still. We preferred to see a different size there. Bad river. Bad river. Uh, hard to get there. A primary concern. Seven blocks the bluffs we want them to have that are left in the range. Seven, nine, seven, ten. Seven, five, seven, four. Uh, yeah, it's a fold. Just a bad run out. I think it's a call here for ten blinds. I think it's kind of close. King four offsuit. Um, but I think fine. So yeah, we call. Good luck. King four, king five. Going to be a lot of chops here. Got to dodge the five and keep it higher than five. That is a chop. Nice. Limb fold, eight, six suited. Just won 33 hyper bounty on party poker for 540 bucks. Let's go. All thanks to me watching Jamie's content, by the way. I'm glad it went well, man. Congratulations on the score. That's awesome. Check, check, not enough protection. Can't get more than one street of value and one street is honestly greedy with eight six here, but we'll give it a go. So we'll go for a bet of 35,000. Very sick. So having a six blocks the six nine, but it doesn't block jack nine. Bluffing candidates from them are going to be broadways, but a lot of those are gonna shove pre given our stack size. Uh, they'll probably check back with some king-jack, some queen-jack. Don't think I can find enough bluffs here. We'll just fold, but fold. Here's step one. Step one on the road back to recovery. Mm. Rip. GG, guys. Hey, not a bad run, though. Not a bad run. Second place. Solid score. 1716 Pretty solid uh, second place there, I'd say. And at least a small profit guaranteed on the day. Um, but first place in this one is going to be 12000 Congrats to our opponent on winning the tournament. Who won, yeah, 4800 More than triple first.